I know Samsung announced that this is going to be the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but guys, we already know this is the Galaxy Note series. This is not a Galaxy S series. I don't know who they're trying to brainwash with their marketing strategy. We truly Note users, the group of people that had been part of the Galaxy Note niche for all these years. We know that this is the Galaxy Note phone, regardless of what they want to call it. If you have one of these phones, you know exactly what I mean. Tell you how my experience was when I unboxed the Galaxy Note 22 Ultra. Uh, when I first got it out of the box, I can tell you this time, it was not exciting as other times. Uh, basically, it was just, you get the phone out, you remove the stickers and that's it. Like, we got a cable and some paperwork but it's not like it used to be before you know we got so many accessories you know you got the s tips for the s pen you got some extra clamps so you can get them out then you got sometimes some adapters the wall charger more paperwork this time it, it just i felt like i got the phone out of the box and that was pretty much it now when i first got the phone out first thing i automatically did is i went and i grabbed my galaxy note 20 ultra to compare them side by side and when i held both of them i can tell they were basically the same phone. Like, I don't even see much of an upgrade from the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Note 22 Ultra. And this is what I saw. On the top, they basically got rid of the SIM tray and they move it on the bottom. They moved the antenna band to one side. The microphone pretty much stayed on the same place. It got shifted a little bit. We got the SIM tray on the bottom. Remember, we no longer have support for an external micro SD card. They got rid of that. So you got your little SIM tray. And then right next to it, you got the other microphone, which I thought that was pretty weird. Why would you put the hole to eject the SIM tray right next to the hole where you had the microphone? I, I can only imagine how many people are going to actually poke the microphone with their pin while they're trying to eject their sim tray and hopefully that's not going to damage the the microphone or cause any issues aside from that you can see the speaker grill is pretty much on the same location the other two antenna bands same location the s pen exactly on the same location as the galaxy note 20 ultra when i look at the left hand side as we can see there's not much of a difference we got an extra antenna band on one side Right on the other side, volume rockers, power button, it's right on the same, same spot. It, it got shifted a little bit, not that much of a difference. And of course, we got this extra space, which is supposed to be, it's called MM Wave Antenna, which we can talk about more in depth of it in the future. And also we got another antenna band right on the bottom. The top and the bottom, they're still pretty flat. No, no big difference. The edges, it, it does feel more rounded. Uh, looks like their aluminum frame. It's a little bit wider or bigger compared to what the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra had. And I can tell, I don't know, it just kind of looks like the Infinity display. It's narrowing down. It's not as big as the edge. is not as big as what the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra had. Moving to the back, we got an extra camera. They shift some stuff around. They got rid of the bump. The S22 Ultra, it feels a little bit thicker compared to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. They got rid of the bump. It's about the same, you know, move a couple of things around. I can tell you once you lay it very flat on the on the table and if you're using the s pen it does feel better or you're able to at least write something down something that in the past with the note 20 ultra with that big bump the phone would just rock from top to bottom and it would make it really hard to to do anything with the s pen if you didn't have a case on it when we look at the front i can't really tell much of a difference the black bezels they look just very insignificant they look a little bit smaller to the galaxy note 20 ultra other than that they look pretty much the same when you look at them side by side i mean it looks like they're a little bit narrowing down not a huge difference uh, where i did notice a significant difference is when you're trying to get the s pen out i can feel there is some friction even when i'm trying to put it back inside something that i did not experience with any of the last galaxy note phones that i had and i don't know it's because the s pen is kind of like a matte finish so maybe that doesn't help slide like the ones that i had before which was more of a glossy finish which kind of allows it to to scoot in there easier but you know something that i hope this is not going to be a problem i know i tried it out with another demo phone in a store and i could tell you that one was actually a lot harder to get the S Pen in and out. And I don't know if it's because it just got damaged over so many people messing with it. Hopefully that is not going to be a problem with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. At the end of the day, we did not get an upgrade for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So we didn't get a Note 21. 
and getting this device two years later i don't really feel like we got much of an upgrade like the touch and feel it's very similar to the note 20 ultra the shape the, everything is just to me i don't see much of an upgrade for being two years i know for a lot of people that are going to go from the s series it's going to be a new form factor different feel they're going to get the s pen they're going to feel like they're going to get a huge upgrade but for me Going from the Note 20 Ultra is not going to be a major, major upgrade. We're going to see a difference on the camera, something that I will test out in a, in a future video, talk more about it. This is the first matte finish phone that I've used in a while. I mean, I do get a couple of fingerprints here and there. For right now, I'm rocking a, a clear, transparent case from uh, Caseborn. I ordered that yesterday from Amazon. It cost me around $15. I believe this company was established by Armadillo Tech as well. Do you guys remember? I used to do reviews for them a while ago when I started the channel. I haven't done reviews for them in a while, but you know, I figured I'd pick this one up, check it out. And I, I'm kind of liking it so far. I'll have a link in the description if you want to go check it out. I, feel, I know every time we get a new Galaxy Note phone, we always say the S Pen is faster, it's more responsive. I mean, I still feel like from the Note 20 to this one, I do see a little bit of a difference. The cameras, I took a couple of samples and I can tell you already, I do see a little bit of an upgrade. It, the quality looks a little bit better from the Note 20 Ultra to the S22 Ultra. But that's it guys, I just wanna give you a quick update, drop my thoughts as we are going into this new era of where the Galaxy Note was discontinued but we know they were not. I'm just thankful that they kept the same form factor. I was kind of concerned when they first started saying they were going to discontinue the Note series and we knew they were going to bring the S Pen to the S series. I'm not a big fan of the rounded corners or the form factor of the S phone so pretty excited that they kept the same form factor for the Galaxy Note series. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one.